Hey everyone, we've got a nice day on the track today for the Saturday race. We've got races at the Valley and also at Royal Randwick. So let's start off at the Valley. Race 1, the dominant.com.au handicap. It's a 1,000 metre and I've only got the one selection. It's number one, unflinching. Barrier 4, it is the favourite at $1.85 and so it should be. Damien Thornton on board, 2 out of 2 wins in his career. Uh, unflinching hasn't placed a foot wrong since debut. It's been going really well and uh, 3 from 3 for me in this one for unflinching. I think uh, it can get the job done. Race 3 is the mirasan.com.au handicap 2,500 metre. So it is a bit of a long race, this one. I've gone with a box trifecta. Uh, this is just a couple of my picks who I think will go well. Uh, number 1, good idea. Barrier 5, Damon Lane on board uh, at Pakenham early December. Came second in 2,500. So it does have the legs in him. Uh, good idea, a chance. Number 3, Starcaster. Maybe get a placing. Barrier 3, Linda Meach on board. It's been, for me personally, it's been a bit off lately, but hopefully can pick up. And like I mentioned, the placing might be there today. Number 7, Guns Are Blazing, who is the roughie in the race at $13. I think it's got a chance. It's used to Damien Oliver on board. It's got Craig Newitt today. But it can really explode, and I think um, the distance, it is a bit of a question at times, but I'm sure it can run a nice race. So, uh, box trifecta, one, three, and seven in race three at the Valley. Race four is the Mia Clear Hand Sanitizer Hand Handicap. Another 2,500 today. So, I've gone with the one pick, and it's number two, Salto Angel. Barrier three, Damien Lane on board. It is at $4.80. The distance is questionable for Salto Angel. We've seen in the past, last run with Damien Lane on board. It won at Werribee uh, in a 2,000 metre. So, it does have its chances, and Damien Lane knows this horse really well. Maybe the win, but... As I mentioned, that distance it is questionable. Can she hold on? Can she finish strongly? We'll have to wait and see. Race 8 is the dominant sanitization solutions handicap. 1,200 metre. Number 8, Pioneer River. Josh Rich is on board. I'm hoping Pioneer River can get the win. Out of its last five meetings, it's had three placings and two recent wins. Uh, at $7, really good odds. Good chance. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat number 11 in the boat with Alana Kelly on board, who is the favourite at $2.60. Uh, in the boat, a chance for four straight wins. So I look at these two horses. Yes, in the boat's more likely, but G Pioneer River at that $7 mark is looking really nice. Race 9 is the last at the Valley, and uh, in the 1,200 metre, I've gone with number 7, Gloves Are Off. I was looking at this field mainly in the last, and I wasn't quite sure who to choose. Uh, but Barry 2 for gloves are off. $7.50. Theodore Nugent on board. Recent form has been well. Uh, it's been going good, and at the Valley especially. Last start, second. Before that, had a win. So it's used to this track. It's used to this distance. It's, uh, it's gone really well in the past, and hopefully... Uh, a win today and keep up that good form. Gloves are off in the last for me. Royal Randwick is up next on the agenda. Race 1, Petaluma Handicap, 1,100 metre. Number 4, the favourite at $2.45. Silent Impact. Drawn Barrier 3. Trials have been good recently. Hasn't had a professional win since last July. Uh, uh, last year in July, I should say. And that was late in July. So that is quite... A, a long time to not have a win. I know that, yes, the trials have been all right, but silent impact, it is a bit of a question for me, but hopefully it can get a win or, or at least a placing. Race three is the Tab Highway Handicap, 1,100 metre. Number three, Extravagant Lad, should go well. $3.80, the favourite. Uh, Kieran McAvoy on board. It won last start, second the run before. Good form, good chance. Uh, if not Extravagant Lad, I'm really looking forward to seeing number 16, Fangella. Barrier 2, Nashville Willa on board. Currently at $6. It's coming off a 31-week break. So maybe a win on return. A surprising run, potentially, from Fangella in race 3 at Randwick. 
race five is the midway handicap, 1800 meter, number seven, white boots. Uh, you know, it's looking good. So maybe an each way bet on white boots today. Tyler Schiller on board, currently at $5. Last two runs, fourth. Last start, Schiller was uh, rode Travest over the line for a win. So maybe today, Tyler can ride white boots over the line for that win. And I think white boots needs it. You know, we look at that fourth placing. Uh, a bit of an extra distance on this one. It's got a chance. Uh, and yes, maybe a placing, but, you know, as punters, we always love to win. Race six is the precise air handicap. 2,000 metre, number nine, Greek hero. Uh, looking well. Rachel King on board, currently at $4.33, so that's um, the odds, 33 cents, you might as well take it. Uh, last two runs, 1,800 metre, came fourth in both. So we've got the extra 200 in this one, uh, maybe a, a placing, and Rachel King, she's been going well uh, into last year, start of this year, so um, Rachel King may be the hot jockey for this year. Uh, she's been in good form, and Greek Hero hopefully gets the win today. Race 8 is the Carrington Stakes, 1,400 metre, number 6, gee, I love this horse, looks like Elvis. Nashua Willow on board, $7.50 the odds, last start at Flemington, a fantastic run for second. And then he loves this distance, last time he ran here in the Bill Ritchie handicap last year at Randwick, he came second, so he's getting those placings, he's having the odd win here or there, and it's used to this distance, he's a fiery horse, he knows when to explode, he knows when to step on the gas, and that's why I'm hoping looks like Elvis can win the Carrington Stakes. Uh, excuse me. Hopefully, the bet of the day for me. Uh, race nine is the Randvin Handicap, 1600 meter, number nine, Waru, Waru, excuse me, Waruri Falls. Gee, that's a tongue twister. Barrier three, Berry on board, $6.50, 1400 meter last start. Uh, came fourth by just under two lengths. So we look at that margin that it lost by. Um, it should get the job done today uh, with that extra 200. Hopefully, it is a good day on the punt for myself and for you all. If you are taking the punt, good luck. And as always, gamble responsibly. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video out to your friends and family. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And for more content, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram.